hey guys uh, we shall continue with the problems so this time x of n is n into 1 by 3 power n minus 1 u of n minus 1 so we shall try to solve this problem so what is our aim here i have to find its z transform and roc using appropriate properties of z transform okay fine uh, what i'll do is I'll, I'll 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 take this part as g of n so let let the intermediate signal g of n is 1 by 3 power n minus 1 u of n minus 1 so what happens to x of n now so x of n is n into g of n right g of n is this part okay now i'll take z transform on both side take z transform on both side so z transform of x of n is equal to z transform of n into g of n okay now what is this property z transform of n into x of n it is multiplication by ramp right what is the transform of n into x of n it is minus z into d by dz of z transform of x of n right so it is basically minus z into d by dz of x of z but x of z can be written as z transform of x of n okay now if i apply this property here so what do i get z transform of x of n is x of z this is equal to z transform of n into g of n so it is minus z into d by dz of z transform of so x of n i have here it has to be g of n okay so x of z is equal to minus z into d by dz of z transform of what is g of n it is 1 by 3 power n minus 1 u of n minus 1 okay so x of z is equal to minus z into d by dz of so i can write this as z transform of 1 by 3 power n u of n into z power minus 1 so i wrote this part as this okay so how did i write this this is because of time shift property right what is the z transform of x of n minus n naught it is nothing but x of z into z power minus n naught right so this is equal to instead of writing x of z i can write it as z transform of x of n into z power minus n naught okay i can write like this now so if this is the case what is the z transform of x of n minus 1 this is nothing but what z transform of x of n into z power minus 1 right so that's what i applied here so uh, i think i have explained this in problem 1 or 2 you, you can check it so i can i can do like this only if this is also n minus 1 and this is also n minus 1 if this is u of n minus 1 and if this is 1 by 3 power n i cannot apply like this okay so this is the transform of x of n the transform of x of n into z power minus 1 so how many times i shifted so minus 1 is here so minus 1 i applied here similarly minus 1 is here so i applied minus 1 z power minus 1 so i can do like this okay fine so what do i end up x of z is equal to minus z into d by dz of what is the z transform of a power n u of n it is z dy by z minus a and what is a a is 1 by 3 right into left out term is z power minus 1 okay and and what is the roc magnitude of z is greater than 1 by 3 right because the transform of a power n u of n is z dy by z minus a magnitude of z is greater than a and a is 1 by 3 fine so this two cancels out i end up with x of z is equal to minus z into d by dz of 1 dy by z minus 1 by 3 with magnitude of z greater than 1 by 3 okay so this is of the form u by v so it is v square numerator is v differentiation of u minus u differentiation of v right so x of z is equal to minus z into denominator is v square z minus 1 by 3 whole square v it is z minus 1 by 3 differentiation of u differentiation of constant is 0 minus u it is 1 differentiation of v differentiation of z minus 1 by 3 is 1 1 right 1 minus 0 which is 1 right so this end up with minus z into so, so, so this is 0 so i minus 1 divided by z minus 1 by 3 whole square 
so these two cancel out so i end up with z divided by z minus 1 by 3 whole square with roc you have to carry the roc magnitude of z is greater than 1 by 3 we shall take up one more problem here x of n is n square 1 by 3 power n minus 1 u of n minus 1 previously it was n into 1 by 3 power n minus 1 u of n minus 1 now it is n square into okay so solution so i can write this as x of n is equal to n into n into 1 by 3 power n minus 1 u of n minus 1 so i just looked at this n square as n into n so now i'll call let g of n is equal to this part so n into 1 by 3 power n minus 1 u of n minus 1 okay so because i know it's a transform this is nothing but our previous problem right okay so x of n i can write it as n into g of n so now it is what is the next step so take z transform take z transform on both sides so what do i get z transform of x of n is equal to z transform of n into g of n so z transform of okay i can write it as directly x of z is equal to what is the transform of z transform of n into x of n it is minus z into d by dz of z transform of x of n right so i can write it as minus z into d by dz of z transform of g of n correct now so next step is minus z into d by dz of z transform of what is g of n n into 1 by 3 power n minus 1 u of n minus 1 ok so x of z is equal to minus z into d by dz of see i have the result which i have done it in the previous problem so i will directly copy it here so in your case you have to solve it and then write it here ok so what is this it is z divided by z minus 1 by 3 whole square it is z divided by z minus 1 by 3 whole square with ma roc magnitude of z is greater than 1 by 3 so x of z is equal to minus z into so this is u v form so it is v square v differentiation of u minus u differentiation of v so it is z minus 1 by 3 square it's square it is z power minus 1 z minus 1 by 3 whole power 4 so v v is z minus 1 by 3 whole square differentiation of u differentiation of z is 1 minus u so u is z into differentiation of v it is 2 times z minus 1 by 3 okay and differentiation of z minus 1 by 3 is 1 minus 0 which is 1 right which is 1 okay so x of z is equal to minus z i keep it as it is i have z minus 1 by 3 whole square and i have z minus 1 by 3 so i will take 1 z minus 1 by 3 common into so z minus 1 by 3 minus of 2z right so whole divided by z minus 1 by 3 whole power 4 so 1 z minus 1 by 3 1 here and here cancels out so i end up with x of z uh, is equal to minus z into z minus 1 by 3 minus 2z whole divided by z minus 1 by 3 whole cube so x of z is equal to so minus z into so this is minus 2 times z plus 1 times z is minus 1 times z minus 1 by 3 so whole divided by z minus 1 by 3 whole cube so x of z is equal to if i take this minus inside z into z plus 1 by 3 whole divided by z minus 1 by 3 whole cube you have to carry the roc magnitude of z is greater than 1 by 3 so we shall take take up one more problem uh, the sequence is x of n is equal to 1 by 2 power 2 into n square plus n into 1 by 3 power n minus 1 u of n minus 1 okay the, the thing is no this looks complicated basically previous two problems which i solved is actually combination of this sequence okay so th the thing is no if i solve this sequence directly it's difficult to convince you so what i did was i splitted this problem 
into 2 which I did it in the previous two problems that is nothing but the combination of this problem okay you see that so solution so x of n I can split this signal right 1 by 2 times n square times this signal 1 by 3 power n minus 1 e of n minus 1 plus 1 by 2 times n into this signal right so it is nothing but 1 by 2 times n square times 1 by 3 power n minus 1 e of n minus 1 plus 1 by 2 into n into 1 by 3 power n minus 1 e of n minus 1 okay so if I take the transform on both sides the transform on both sides both sides it is a transform of x of n is equal to 1 by 2 times it's a constant I can take it outside the transform of n square 1 by 3 power n minus 1 u of n minus 1 which was the previous problem here so plus 1 by 2 times the transform of so n into 1 by 3 power n minus 1 u of n minus 1 which we have solved it in previously right see this is not as simple as what I have put it here uh, the thing is no uh, if you are solving it from the beginning you have to solve this problem you have to solve this problem and then you have to combine it uh, but here in my case I have solved it these two in the previous two problems so I can directly apply here okay so what is the transform of x of n x of z right so 1 by 2 times what is the transform of n square 1 by 3 power n minus 1 u of n minus 1 it is here so n square 1 by 3 power n minus 1 u of n minus 1 it is z into z plus 1 by 3 so it is z into z plus 1 by 3 whole divided by z minus 1 by 3 whole square what is its ROC magnitude of z is greater than 1 by 3 right plus 1 by 2 into so what is the z transform of this sequence it is uh, 1 by 2 times z divided by z minus 1 by 3 whole square right and what is its ROC magnitude of z is greater than 1 by 3 ok fine so if I have two ROCs what is the combined ROC combined ROC is intersection of these two since these two ROC are same so my combined ROC is magnitude of z is greater than 1 by 3 ok now so I have to simplify this in such a way that I can recognize poles and zeros you have to do that ok so x of z is equal to Mm, did I miss in something? Yes, this is this is cube. Fine. So numerator. Uh, what I'll do is I have z minus one by three cube. I have z minus one by three square. So I'll add one more z minus one by three so that I can take common denominator. So z minus one by three cube. So when I add z minus one by three to the numerator in the second term, what I end up with one by two times z into z plus one by three plus 1 by 2 into z into z minus 1 by 3 ok so this is equal to if I take 1 by 2 z common I end up with z plus 1 by 3 into z minus 1 by 3 and denominator is z minus 1 by 3 whole cube sorry I have plus here so x of z is equal to 1 by 2 z into so it is z plus 1 by 3 plus z minus 1 by 3 so plus 1 by 3 minus 1 by 3 cancels out so z minus 1 by 3 whole cube this happens to be 1 by 2 z into z plus z so 2 z whole divided by z minus 1 by 3 whole cube so this is equal to 2 to cancels out so z square divided by z minus 1 by 3 whole cube with magnitude of z is greater than 1 by 3.